and productive years feed in Oakland. And uh, over the last year and a half, we've struggled through the pandemic. But nonetheless, we... And now, you know, eat your heart out, Paris. Uh, you know, it's like you go all across the state and you're like, why haven't we done this 20, 40, 30 years ago? And the biggest fear and anxiety I think all of us have had as consumers, not just businessmen and women, but is like, please don't take this away. Don't let them take this away after this pandemic. And so that's what these bills represent. This, as the senator said, uh, codifies some of the work we did on a temporary basis last year to allow for uh, takeout of mixed drinks and cocktails and booze broadly defined in a responsible way. Pro restaurant, pro small business legislation. Senator, assembly member. May, well, we got to do the mayor. Got to do mayor. Sorry, Con. Wait, wait, assembly woman. I've known Eli 20 years, and I really appreciate the investments he's made, his innovation, his entrepreneurial spirit, pushing out the boundaries, um, um, and you know, affording himself appropriate status of being one of the world's great innovators and entrepreneurs. I mean, what an extraordinary, extraordinary talent. He has invested untold amounts of money in this state to create thousands and thousands of jobs, but more importantly, he's pushed out the boundary of what's possible. By the way, it would be interesting to get the facts on how much California's invested in Tesla. No other, I mean, the hundreds of millions of dollars of tax subsidies we provided that company. Our regulatory environment helped create that company and grow that company. I'm proud of the fact we have 60 EV companies in California, headquartered in California. All right, 59. <laughs> I'm proud of the fact 34 of them are manufacturers. And I'm proud that our number one export is electric vehicles. And I'm proud that we invested $3.9 billion this year to expand our investments in electric vehicles.